Have you ever wondered why addresses in the Tor network look as strange like this one or this one? In this video we will unveil the mystery behind these cryptic addresses. I will explain you the algorithm behind them step by step and afterwards we will write a python program that can calculate the onion address from a public key. The version 3 onion addresses are 56 characters long and always end with a D followed by the onion extension. This is related to the way they are calculated. First a so called long term key pair consisting of a public and a private key is generated which permanently identifies the hidden service. In addition there are short term key pairs that are regularly renewed to provide additional security and protect the anonymity of the service. For key generation Tor v3 uses the ED25519 elliptic curve key algorithm. ED25519 is known for its strength and efficiency and offers a good balance between security and performance. The onion address will be calculated based on the public key of the long term key pair created with ED25519. This is done by first creating a checksum. First the string .onion checksum is encoded as bytes and added to the 32 byte long public key and the byte encoded tor address version number. Then a SHA-256 hash is computed over the newly formed byte array and the first two bytes of it are taken to complete the checksum. Afterwards the public key, the newly created checksum and the byte encoded tor address version are added exactly in this order. From this result the base32 string is calculated, the equal signs at the end are removed and the file extension .onion is appended. The tor address is now complete. Now let's take a look at how to implement this algorithm using tools from Python's standard library. First we need the libraries hashlib, base64 and sys which are all part of Python's standard library. Now we write a function called onion address from public key which receives the path to a public key as a parameter. We open the underlying file behind this path with the context manager and read the stored ed25519 public key into a variable named public key. The public key hides in key pairs generated by Tor starting from the 32nd byte. Now we define a variable with the byte encoded tor address version number. Then we calculate the checksum in the previously introduced way. We take the byte encoded string dot on in checksum, add the public key and the byte encoded version number. From this we create the SHA-256 hash using the SHA-3 underscore 256 function on hashlib and read the first two bytes from the digest. The result is stored in a variable called checksum. Now we convert the byte array consisting of the public key, the checksum and the version number into a base32 encoded string and save it in a variable named onion underscore address. We then decode it, convert this into lowercase, remove the equal signs and append the onion extension. We save the result in a text file named hostname.txt because this is also done when setting up a hidden service over Tor. Finally we return the onion address to display it during the program's execution. In the main program we first read the path to a public key which we ask the user for at the start of the program. With this as a parameter we call the function onion address from public key and save the result in a variable named onion underscore address. Finally we print the onion address calculated by the function. Ok then let's try the whole thing for the public key of the hidden service that I had generated for my video on setting up a hidden service. Link is in the video description down below. I start the program onion.gen.py with the path to the public key, press enter and here we get the onion address of the hidden service which we have calculated exclusively from the public key. Feel free to write in the comments below if you would like a video in which I show you how to generate valid onion addresses that start with a specific string such as secret. If you have any further questions please feel free to post them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.